It's a potentially deadly trend and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention putting all of its resources into investigating what's causing mysterious vaping related lung illnesses. Today, the agency activated its emergency operations center to enhance the interagency response to the investigation into these cases. Just last week, Metro Health confirmed two cases of severe lung disease associated with vaping in Bear County. Tiffany Huertas with how youth and young adults are reacting to the news. I just think it's it's bad all the way around and now the information is coming out to confirm that. Bear County added to the list of places where cases of severe lung disease associated with vaping have been found. But who is using e-cigarettes? According to the Food and Drug Administration, in 2018, 3.62 million middle and high school students were users. We decided to talk to people in San Antonio to see how they feel about vaping. People would give vapes and think it's okay because it's not cigarettes. But the FDA hasn't approved e-cigs as a quit smoking aid. I just know that they like seeing the smoke and doing the, the school, that cool stuff that they do with it. No, I see the commercials saying that they don't know the long-term effects of vaping right now, so... A lot of that, I feel like it's still toxic and it's going to eventually hurt you worse than cigarettes. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says six people have died from a vaping related lung illness and there are 380 possible reported cases. 29 cases are being investigated in the U.S., including 12 in Texas. You, you don't know what this stuff is and so a lot of people think like it's fine when it's it's really not. The CDC says harmful substances can be found in e-cigarettes like nicotine or heavy metals like lead. I wouldn't want nobody to die from it or anything get sick from it. I love my body too much to smoke. I'm not going to do it. If you do use e-cigarette products, the CDC says you should not buy these products off the street. Last week, President Donald Trump said the U.S. Food and Drug Administration would be putting out some very strong recommendations regarding the use of flavored e-cigarettes. Now, there are more recommendations on our website. Local health care providers are asked to report suspected cases of vaping-related illnesses to Metro Health at 210-207-8876.